So I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have a new camera and it's awesome. Oh, by the way, we're in Tulum. We have a jacuzzi in our bedroom. What? <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> well yesterday we took the bus down from cancun to tulum and we stayed in a really cool hotel um i had a cool bathtub and it was really nice but unfortunately they only had space for one night so we checked out of that hotel today and just checked into this place which is a little bit different but it's a little more our style But here's the thing with Tulum, it is full with unique and beautiful places. The real reason that we're here is to go visit a pretty unique piece of architecture. How's it going back there, Kika? <laughs> For two years we knew about this place and we never thought we would actually see it. So we rented some bikes and we're heading out to the beach. We just made it here and we're now in what's called the hotel zone. It's along the beach and it's where all like the ridiculously fancy hotels are and the one we're here to see is called Azulique. I'm just hoping they're gonna let us in. <laughs> I, I, yeah. But it's really, it's worth to go see, so yeah. we're gonna go and ask and see if we can just like go check it out and maybe grab a drink at their bar. Let's, uh, let's cross the street and see if we don't die. Let's do that. So what's Kinto? All right, ready, go, go, go. Oh, uh, there's a car right there. I know, but he's gonna stop. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. So it turns out we can't actually <laughs> go in right now but we're gonna go grab a drink and their bar opens at five and that's when we can actually go and take a look. Is it five yet? Yep. Okay, let's go. This place is quite brilliant and beautiful, but since last week we highlighted the epitome of wheelchair accessibility, this one is basically the opposite. Like it has no access for wheelchairs, um, which I think personally, because I with what we saw with the Impossible Dream, it's the one touch that's missing here. Kind of 
kind of here for the exact same reasons as everyone else. This place looks amazing for photographs and video and Instagram and all those other social media things. But it is kind of funny how pretty much everyone here is waiting in line for like the same shots and the same angles. Well, that was an interesting experience. That was fun. That yeah. was unique. It was very unique. And there's a lot of aspect <sighs> of that place that we really appreciate. Yeah, I mean, the the, the attention to detail and the, uh, the whole, like, sort of vernacular aspect of it. I mean, there's really no other place that that hotel could exist. And yeah. in that aspect, it was pretty cool. Honestly, it was... It was a bit overwhelming. Super overwhelming. I think probably because it is such a unique piece of architecture. It's probably known as the Instagram spot. Yeah, for sure. everyone had their cameras yeah. and their phone and they were all taking selfies and what? camera shots. And we were in line too because <laughs> like, we're doing this for you and we're doing this for us and we love it. But by the time we made it into one of the hammocks, it was yeah. already nightfall. <laughs> yeah. We mentioned it's an expensive spot. We didn't say how expensive it is the cheapest room there is eight hundred dollars a night yeah. u.s dollars yeah. and their main i don't water suite or whatever it's it's more than five thousand dollars a night to stay there like it's absolutely ridiculous how expensive it is yeah. but it's really pretty, it's really pretty. <laughs> it would have been nice to have like a proper behind the scenes tour but Unless we knew the owner or the manager, there's no way they'd give us one because it's very exclusive and they're all about the privacy of their guests. Yeah. So it kind of yeah. makes sense. This super cool spot we're staying in costs us 30 bucks a night. And it's so cute. It's awesome. Yeah. And they're and built yeah. in like these concrete tubes, which is something that we actually looked into in architecture school. So uh, yeah, this is much more our style. Um, with that said, I think we're exhausted. We're tired. So we're going to go to bed. Yeah. And, we couldn't uh, even get a good Instagram picture. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the Instagram <laughs> hotel. I, I don't even think. Yeah. But Tulum is more than just that hotel, it's true. you know. It, All of Tulum is very popular. It's become like the rich tourist destination, yeah. unfortunately. Because there is a lot of really cool stuff to see here. But they've also started to put price tags on it all. Yeah. So. And the price tags are just like way above our little budget wallet. <laughs> well, guys, uh, our camera battery is about to die. Yeah. We've been shooting all day. So yep. we're going to plug those in and charge them. And we'll, we'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Bye. Bye. So this is our last day in Tulum before we leave and uh, our friend Tony recommended that we have to go see a cenote. So we're gonna do that today. Hello again Is every ocean come as rain I know my circles I know my name Another sequel Well this place is pretty cool. The cenote is literally right beside the road so you don't have to walk too far to get to it. Let's check it out.
that was amazing. It's the first time I've gone free diving uh, with my new eyes, and it was awesome to be able to see underwater. There's a, a really big cenote cave that kind of goes down in, but it was way too dark to video with the GoPro, so we don't have any shots of it, but it was really pretty. If you guys are cave dive certified, you should come check you out the cenotes here, because sure. they're sweet. Nice. Uh, but now we're going back to the bus station, and we're going to Cancun, and to Isla, and back to our little Uma. But so. first, we're gonna go get a drink at a bar and wait for the bus. Yes, definitely. I like the flower. <laughs> well, we're trying to get a ride. There's one thing that I guess taxis don't really go by and stop here a lot, so we can't seem to get one. And it's hot. Hopefully, we catch. Uh, we See? found a ride. Muchas gracias, amigas. <laughs> oh, we got these two Where random dudes with us. Who are you? Uh, the Finlandia, the Suecia, the Canada, the IT. Mm. <laughs> you got it. Oh, it's, it's raining. It is raining. Yeah. I'm adding a sticker to, to the symbol sign right there because there's a lot of stickers there already. And I don't know if we're supposed to do this, but a great filmmaker once said, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So, we're gonna add the sticker. Oh, I don't think I can reach. Jump slap. Ready? Yeah. One. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. You can probably like fix it. Not really. I think you did fine. Can I? Good job. Yay. <laughs> So a bus doesn't leave for 30 minutes, so while we wait... Gracias! Can we eat now? <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Because <laughs> I'm really hungry. It's fun, but I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's eat. Okay. Hi guys. We're back. We're tired. Dan's tired. It's been a it's been an interesting couple of days. <laughs> but I hope you guys oh. loved this episode and enjoyed our mechanic inspired <laughs> B-rolls. <laughs> we uh we had a lot of fun playing with a new camera and yes. um yeah, not all of our videos are gonna be so B-roll infused, but uh while we were in Tulum, it's such a beautiful place, we felt inspired. And yeah. it's a new camera, so we had we wanted to play as much as we could with it, and it has a slow motion feature. So we were everything we sexy were in slow fun. motion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was, that's it for that episode. And uh, you guys should come back next week when we're gonna have something extra epic for you. You guys know how Atticus has been in the same anchorage for like a month with us. Well, we've uh, we've taken advantage of that month. Yeah. And uh, we put together something pretty fun. It's gonna be a 
Battle of the Channel mashup. It's gonna so, be good. <laughs> come out next week, and uh, until then, cheers. cheers. I'm going back to bed now. <laughs> Is that all we needed to say? <laughs>